Good day, everyone. And it's Pastor Roy here at the Centerport United Methodist Church. I'm alongside Colleen Ruffini, who is does so many different roles here at the church right now. She's officially serving as our social justice representative on our church council, which is the leadership body of our church. But she's also in her life a social worker, and she does that at a school here on the island, but is also part of a program at Stony Brook University and has connected us with Austin Walters, who is serving as our social work intern here for the school year. And we're very, very excited to have Austin here. And he's been here just about a couple of months now and gotten settled in. But many of you, because we're in this time of COVID, have not had the privilege of coming to the church and meeting with Austin directly. So what we came up with was to have a time where we can listen with Austin about himself, his program, and some of his goals here and just to introduce him a little more to all of you. Today in the church, we celebrated Commitment Sunday and making our commitments to God and Christ and the world through our worship, our prayers, our study, and our service. And this is one of the aspects of us connecting in service to the world in uh, looking for a way to connect more directly with our community. And so Austin, we're really excited to have you here and so to start off, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself, your background? Well, uh, my name is Austin. I am 24 years old. I grew up here on Long Island um, in Table, New York, in the South Shore. Um, I currently now live in Alpha, New York with my girlfriend, Kayla, and our little dog, Dallas. Um, I completed my undergrad degree at SUNY Cortland. I studied psychology with a minor in French. And I'm currently at Stony Brook now doing my MSW. Excellent. And we will forgive the dog being named Dallas, even though many of you are New York Giants fans, and I have to be a Washington football team fan. So Dallas, yeah, we're just going to go with that. We've forgiven him for that. Uh, the dog is very cute, by the way. But uh, you just mentioned you're at Stony Brook now. So uh, tell us a little bit about that program that you're in and where you are in that and a little bit about this internship program? Well, I'm in a second year of a three-year part-time MSW program. Um, so my first couple years, it's kind of been more like baseline social work stuff, like you learn about policy, you learn about you know working with clients. Um, this is the first year I'm doing an internship, which I'm doing here. Um, but you know, the, the program focuses a lot on ways that you know you can work with others to help and create change and it also kind of opens your eyes to some of the some of the more difficult parts of the world where you know there are you know people that live like oppressed lives and people that live you know disadvantaged lives in, in relation to others and it kind of just spreads awareness on topics such as that Right. One of, I'm sorry, oh, if I could just interject, one of the reasons I love working with Stony Brook, they really have a focus on social justice issues and serving the underrepresented. Yep. So I've actually worked with Stony Brook for that reason for 23 years. Thank you, Colleen. An expert uh, in working with, with the program and, and uh, connecting us with, with Austin is truly a gift. Uh, and Austin, as I'm hearing you, you speaking, this program is part-time, and I'm, I'm listening to the aspects you really love about the program. I know you also have a full-time job that does a lot of what you're talking about. Can you describe for us uh, what that is? Uh, yeah, full-time. I, uh, I work for uh, Suffolk County, a case worker, um, do a lot of work with uh, parents and uh, children that may not be in the best situations. Um, and you know, the main focus of the job is to come into situations where families are in a very difficult spot and trying to find ways to, you know, guide them out of it mm. in the least intrusive manner. And that really uh, applies to what our goal is here in the church. We all have difficulties and trying to get through them with God's help. You are doing that with people and families in so much need. 
and, and trying to be that light that would guide them through maybe with, with different instruction or different uh, capabilities and to help them, right? That's what you're doing? <laughs> yeah, that's wonderful. So it's a lot, you're bringing a well of uh, gifts and experience that you've already encountered in your life, through your job, through your school program, uh, et cetera. And what are some of the priorities that you hope to accomplish in the internship while you're here with us at Center for? Um, well, I'm here at Center for it, I, you know, my, my priorities is to be a resource to, you know, the people here at the church, you know, help through anything that anyone might be going through. I know it's a difficult time being in the midst of the pandemic, and there's, you know, everybody may feel a little bit trapped in a way. Um, but I also would like to make the church kind of a resource to the surrounding communities um, in ways, you know, whether that be bringing outside ABCs into the church that provide, you know, education or social, uh, provide awareness on social justice issues, or whether it's um, hosting things at the church, such as, um, you know, like, um, like a, a guest speaker, or even making the church like a, like a home base for, um, Sort of like programs that could be run. And one of the programs that you've been looking into is a bereavement group, I know, and you have a strong interest in that. Yeah, the bereavement group is something that I was looking to start. Um, obviously, as I mentioned earlier, we're in a little bit difficult time with the pandemic, and the way that we normally mourn the loss of a loved one is somewhat limited. Right. So, I mean, bereavement group, I was looking to just be a resource to anybody that might be going through a difficult time mm -hmm. and kind of coping with the loss of a loved one during a time where, you know, it's just, it hasn't been normal. Right. So you have several uh, priorities here at the church. And is that part of the reason why you chose the church setting? Because I know you could have chosen from various settings why where you would be doing your internship so can i ask you why did you choose a church setting i chose a church setting because i believe that the mission of the church and the mission of social work kind of coincide together um, in social work you're looking to be a resource and you know try and help those who are struggling regardless of their situation their background or anything like that the church kind of preaches the same message where you'd like to spread good to others. Does it matter what walk of life they come from? Does it matter how they were raised or, you know, anything like that? Just, you know, being the good that's out there and being that good for others. I, I really recognize that too. I'm also on the field education committee at Stony Brook and last year when we were looking at our focus and our priorities, we really wanted to offer our interns different ways to do more outreach in communities. And as people on the committee were speaking, it really made me think more and more, it clicked how much of what they were saying we were either already doing in the church or had the opportunity to do in the church. So that's when I raised the idea of having an intern in a church. And I know we're only the uh, one of two churches in Sub County right now that have interns. So I'm excited, hopefully, for that that to continue and maybe spread even further. Yeah, and let's pray that that trend continues uh, because, as you mentioned, Austin, it, the work, social work is so intertwined in the church as we continue to bring Christ's light out into the world in different ways. And I don't mean to tell all of you that 2020 has highlighted so many different ways that we need to uh, represent Jesus who was almost always walking in the communities and bringing healing and hope and teaching and inspiring others to give and share and build up one another. So it's, uh, it's amazing how intertwined these fields are. So we give thanks that you are here, Austin. I appreciate you guys having me. Yeah, is there anything else um, that you'd like to share with us today, whether it's personal or about the program? 
Um, well, I just I want to just mention some of the things that I would like to bring to the church. Um, as Roy mentioned, we are going to be um, starting a bereavement group. Again, all are welcome to join, even if you've never even participated in one. It's if you'd like to just come by and check it out, see if it's something that you know, could benefit from. And we're open to anybody, anybody that wants to come down. Um, I have been in contact with some outside organizations such as Erase Racism um, and Long Island Community Against Hate to try and bring in some speakers to the church to spread awareness on some topics such as racism and immigration that seem to be more and more at the forefront of the news cycle, you know, day by day. Um, I am working on adding some things to the church's website. Um, just provide resources, whether they be national resources or helplines or local resources, such as um, HEAP that could help with um, providing, you know, HEAP for some that might need it or who might be a little short on cash and need to stay warm throughout the winter, um, as well as just adding some more information in regards to social justice topics that might be going on right now, and even including some like small ways that you can maybe do some self-care at home if you're feeling stressed out or you feel like things may be a little overwhelming, kind of ways to just, you know, level out a little bit. Um, a little mindful meditation, I'm just looking for the words. Um, but yeah, there's a lot that I'd like to continue to look into and ways that I would like to help and you know anybody that would like to reach out or anybody that has some ideas or anything that they would like to share I'm more than open to hearing anything from anyone. That's great. Thank you, Austin. We appreciate you making the commitment on this commitment Sunday to being here with us for the year and for sharing your gifts with us and Colleen. Again, thank you so much for your leadership and that connection that went it, uh, it came to you in your meetings with those at Stony Brook and, and helping to make this all possible. And so, let us all remember the importance of the call of Jesus and, and how, like, how important it is to connect with our community, especially now. You can do that in ways that are still safe and within the guidelines that we have to follow, but just getting out there, getting outside, even in the colder weather, will still be important with all of us and to check in with one another with calls and to make sure that people are doing okay. You know, our mental health in this in this these times is so critical. And checking in on one another and this idea of social work is really helping to connect the body of Christ and expanding that call. So thank you again, Austin, and thank you, Colleen, for your time today. And we hope that you Check us out on our website and give us a call if you have any questions and we can certainly uh, connect you by email or phone with Austin if you have any ideas. God bless you. Thanks. Thank you.